Alrighty, now you should have just come from the third video in this series on how to draw your My First Car, where we cut out our two wheel housings and our axle holes. Alright, this video here we're going to start looking at the wings, so the front and rear wings of our My First Car. You can see on the side here I've come into my My First Car drawings and I'm starting to look, I'll start with this front wing here. So if we zoom in a bit, we can see we've got a bit of a sketch there shows us that the sketch is started on the outside face of the body, so out here on the body, right, and extruded back to the selected face, which is the inside of that wheel housing there. And there is a two degree taper on that extrusion, so we'll talk more about that very soon. As you can see right here, it is does have a horizontal, sorry, a vertical back to that triangle, going to a point at the front there, which looks as though it's an equilateral, not sorry, not an equilateral triangle, but a triangle with a center point at the center of this line. So we're going to need to go ahead and draw this now. What I'll do is I'll head to my car that I've been working on, this one here. We'll start a new sketch. And we're going to, as I said, start that on the outside plane. All right. Let's move it along a bit so we can see exactly what we're working on and zoom in a bit. And we're going to start with just a couple of basic lines um, to draw that triangle. So I'm going to go straight up like that, come into a point, and you can see that that green line keeps it on center with the first line I've drawn and back to that point. Now we've kind of got something that looks somewhat like that, but we haven't dimensioned it yet, and you can see that due to all these blue lines. So hitting my dimension key, I'm going to start with the dimensions for the triangle itself. So we'll make this back edge 11 millimeters in length. All right, we'll give it a 16 millimeter length from the back edge here to the tip of the triangle. So 16, there we go. Next thing we need to do is position that back edge 20 millimeters from the center of our axle hole. So I'll select that back edge, and I'm going to select the axle hole. It will let me. No, it won't let me. Okay, now what's happened here is that we have, don't actually have that axle hole on the sketch that we're working on. So what we'll need to do is project that geometry to our sketch. So clicking the sketch palette here, we come down to this little drop down menu which has project slash include, and we're going to select the project one. So selecting that hole and clicking OK. Now it's now projected onto the sketch we're working on. Now we can dimension from it. So selecting the back of that wing again, center of the hole, typing in 20 millimeters. All right, there we go. So we've now positioned that the correct distance from the axle hole there. And we're going to go and need to go ahead and center it right for the height within our side area here. So using my dimension tool still, I'm going to select the front tip of my triangle and the top of the car. I'm going to give that a distance of 10.5 millimeters and it's now central in that area. So I should have all the dimensions I need now. As you can see it's 16 millimeters in length, 11 millimeters in height, 20 millimeters from our axle hole and 10.5 millimeters from the top. Now at this point here, you can see that this one isn't 100% constrained. I do have some blue lines still on it. Now we can easily figure out what those are by seeing if we can move it and how we can move it. And right now you can see that it looks as though we haven't actually set a specific position for this back line. All right, so our 11 millimeter line quick can move anywhere it wants to right now, which is what the main issue is here. So what we can do to fix that is that we can do a little calculation. So we know that our car is 21 millimeters from top to bottom. We've got 11 millimeters in height at the back here. So if we take that from 21, we get 10 millimeters between the two. Therefore, we've got a dimension one end of it. This tip here would be fine. To the top of the car, just fix that, let's try again. Dimension that tip there to the top of the car by five millimeters, half of 10. Okay, and we're now fully constrained. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do our extrusion. So I'm going to hit stop sketch, we'll change our angle. And you can see there we've got our circle that we projected before as well, which is pretty cool. So we'll hit our extrude tool, select that object. And this time we're going to, again, change it from uh, distance to, to object. We're going to select that object of our car. And we're going to do that taper angle of two degrees. And you can see, as I did that, that back triangle got a little bit bigger. It's now tapering our sketch from the front here to the back by two degrees. 
and it's going to join it onto the main body. We hit OK, and there's our front wing. Easy as that. Now we've got to go ahead and do the wing on our side pod. And this is where things start to get a little bit trickier, but not too much. All right. So here we go. We've moved up to look at the side pod here. Again, it's the same sort of process. We're just doing this back wing, back wing now. So I'm going to create a new sketch again on that outside face. And I'm going to follow the instructions that are written for me just here. So I again need to do a triangle. So I'll select my line tool. I'm going to start on the same axis right, that runs through the center of my CO2 canister housing. Come forward. Doesn't really matter how much at this point. Back towards so that I'm hovering directly over that place where I started. And then back to there. So now so we've got a little planar form that we've created. It's got no dimensions yet though. So let's add some dimensions. This corner point here needs to be horizontal to origin, which it is right now. We can see that it's lined up with that perfectly. We've got four millimeter height at the back edge here and 16 millimeters from the front to the back. So let's add those two in. So we'll select that back edge there, set that to four millimeters and set 16 from front to back there. Now you can see it's moved out of place quite dramatically there. One of the next dimensions is four millimeters from that back edge to that inside. Now before I do that, I'm gonna to need to move that object a little bit. So I'm gonna click on it, right click and select move copy. And I'm just gonna move it forward a bit. If it wants to let me, not really. Let's see if we can do that again by selecting the object and selecting the, okay. Not gonna let us drag it very well. We can probably, there we go. There we go. So we've moved it closer into position now. Now, as far as that horizontal, you can see that mine's come off the horizontal with the origin point, so I'm going to need to fix that. So I'll select that line, hold control on my keyboard, select that point, which is my origin point, right click, and I want to make them horizontal, which is not letting me right now. Let's see if we can find them inside here. Perhaps a coincidence constraint might work. Yep, that's worked there. So we've now got those coincidence together, which gives it the correct height. Next, we need to dimension how far it is from that point, which in this case is four millimeters. And there we go. It's now fully constrained with all black lines. Four millimeters in height at the back, four millimeters from the back of that canister housing, and 16 millimeters in length. So we're now ready to uh, extrude that through onto the side of our car. So we'll hit stop sketch, change our angle again, and we're gonna do that extrusion. So pick the extrude tool here, select the face, Again, I'm going to use the extent to object, select the side body of that uh, CO2 canister housing there, and remembering like I did before that we have that negative, uh, sorry, positive two taper angle. So type that in, two degrees, and that's going to position it nicely onto the side of the car there. And click OK, and there we go, there's our rear wing. So as you can see, it's getting quite close to the finished car now. We have our wheel cutouts, we've got our front wing, we've got our rear wing and the rest of the body of the vehicle. That's looking great. See you in the next video.